Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
Ashley, it's Jada back in the booth. We are in cycle six of season seven. Today's maps are Abyss, Quarry, and Stadium. For today's lineup, it is Acid versus Rook. Real fast for that lineup, guys. For Rook, we've got Lobster Master, Humbles, Krakistaka, Aspie, and Warrior Zaya. And then for Acid, we have Small Quad, Benji, Tev, Higuruma, and Assassin King. Looks like everybody's got green ping for today. Should be a fun match. And both of the teams are uh, just finishing getting wrapped up and we should hopefully be getting started soon. <laughs> hey Humbles. Humbles giving kisses and hearts for the camera. <laughs> Hi, Zaya. How you doing, guys? All the love. All the love. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Should be a good one. This is a sprinter tier matchup. And as this is the last cycle, the winner of the games for this cycle, it's their last chance to win any... MMR or seed ranking, which will determine their placing for playoffs. Currently, Acid is bottom of Sprinter with only 709 seed ranking, so they are going to need a decent win with a lot of time on the clock to hopefully get enough seed ranking from today and their other match this cycle to hopefully stay in sprinter tier. Currently, Rook is sitting at 1041 for seed ranking, which is pretty good um, for where they're at middle of sprinter. Looks like should be just a few minutes and we will get this started. Unfortunately, as I am casting on my laptop today, it does not have the computing power to additionally have a second instance of Hyperdash open to spectate on the cart cam. So unfortunately, there is no cart cam today. I do apologize. And while we are waiting for those teams to finalize and be ready to go, and we've got Lunar, Jay from State Farm, and Peppa Steffa, all the Rook fans in the chat, is saying the goat little tipsy. Hey, Peppa. Uh, let me throw a poll in the chat for who you think is going to take Ebis Acid or Rook. Okay, that poll is in the chat. Feel free to interact. If there are any issues or technical problems with the stream, just ping Jake from State Farm as he is currently downstairs and will probably see it before I do. Meanwhile, shall we see what the uh, other teams are doing? Oh, they're actually using the meeting room. Assassin King. Benji, what's up little bro? Hi! <laughs> hey, hey, don't stare at that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Throw in some dance moves. I see how it is. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, guys? Meanwhile, get some uh, warming up. Looks like they are just about ready, hopefully. We can get this show on the road.
Looks like uh, Rook's pretty impatient to get this going too. And I think just about ready. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's get going. And we should be starting on Abyss for cycle six. Let's go. Okay, it looks like since we've got Rook starting on that red side, start over there. As I am on a singular monitor, I have limited ability to do transitions, so be patient if there is a call for it. Yeah, Looks like we got Asti waiting on the Two, other shot. One, got the nice setup on the minimap. Part is still double stacked and now it goes down. But only two members of Acid have died so far. Three now, okay, and three of Rook. Looks like pretty tied right at the open of trades. Aspie's still up with shocks, but not really hitting cart quite yet. Assassin King, meanwhile, is trying to push up. Got SMGs on that upper rail. Cart still moving though, already getting some more double stackage. Cart finally going down to those shocks. Ooh, misses the second shock. Small Claw getting the pick, starting to push up. But there's one more still by Cart, and Cart is already back up. Great Cart focus, I can see here from Acid already right off the bat. Still on pace for open. Small Claw waiting for the dash before pushing that shotgun flank route. Looks like Acid's done a great job trying to push up into that left side of water room. But it looks like a couple Rook players are still trying to push through that right side and get to Cart, as that's the fastest route from where Cart's currently at. Rockets are up. Let's see some Rocketeer POV. Rockets may or may not have just died. Oh, they're still up. Lobster Master on the Rockets. Cart still making a lot of headway. Double kill on the cart though. Nice pick there, right between the columns. And another. Love to see the golden rockets. And that's one more pick. Meanwhile, the rest of work really needs to be pushing up and taking control of the space. Ooh, suicides on the Assassin King, but Assassin does manage to get those rockets down, and they do instantly take advantage of that and get on some cart movement. Almost getting to the corner. Looks like there's a secondary rocket up. Oh, but he goes down to Tev. A lot more trees here. Grama going down in the flank. The double stackage at the corner, trying to get around as fast as possible. Another rocket taking down one on cart. Looks like they're going for a double rocket stress, but it seems like. Still getting some picks on cart. Ooh, a nice little save there in that flank. Great dodges and picks there. Excellent work. That kill streak. Still up with the rockets. Refuses to go down. Krakas almost takes the hell, <laughs> but lobster. It is more important at this section of the map that the rocketeer does stay alive. Rook is playing very far back though, really just focusing on the force of those heavies to keep control of this area. They are getting cart stoppage. Lobster again, trying to narrowly avoid dying and takes out another. This seems to be where all these actions is at as this insane kill streak continues. Looks like we're on a 15k streak before Lobster finally went down. That is insane. Aspie still getting some more picks at the corner, but nobody on Rook is pushing up really. Looks like there's maybe two players pushing into the water room right now. Just picking a couple more fights. Rockets are still up in the back line. There was a slight group up here, just a lot of trades going back and forth. Benji's still up in that flank. I think this is Benji's first, if not second league match for this season, as he is a previous seasoned player.
still got the double rocket strat though. Minute 45 on the clock. Not impossible for Ass to still make checkpoint at this point in time. But Rook's got a pretty solid defense here for the most part. They just need to be taking a little more space. You can see on the minimap there are at least three of them that are at least pushing up a little bit past into the corner and trying to hold that flank. Meanwhile, they're trying to get the rockets down, but having double rockets with Humble and... Oh, one rocket's down. The second rocket is down, and Card is up 31% and rising. 1 minute 10 on the clock. That was the clear of heavies they needed, and they just got... Che uh, question? Checkpoint? There we go. Excellent hold, though, there. And though it might be a little late, here is that gift for you guys. And already getting a little more stackage on the cart, as it is that spawn advantage. Humble's still coming in from behind. Gets another 2k before getting taken down by Assassin King, who came back from spawn or flank, it looks like. Right now, Lobster top killing overall at the moment. But Humbles is not far behind, tied with Higurama. Ooh, trying to get those rockets back up. Lobster does get another pick. One gets behind. Ooh, Small Quad takes down Lobster. Crack is up with SMGs. Takes a pick and starts pushing through that flank. Don't wait on the dash! Oh, phew, he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Sneakily grabbing the spawn dash and then goes back main, not pushing the flank at all. You know, a cart's still getting some. Oh, cart just went down. Looks like lobster hit cart with a double rocket. And small quad pushing up again. Lobster saving, narrowly avoids, but suicide on Benji. And cart is still up for acid, already approaching close to that second corner. There is, meanwhile. One acid member was actually in Rook's spawn doing some great disruption. Lobster trying to check all those angles and trying to get rockets back up on cart. They don't really have control of that jelly room though. Ooh, Lobster getting a really nice pick there. There is still one behind. Goes for the 3k. Gets a 4. Can he get the 5th? Oh, they go down. Crack is holding the same room, but Kurt still getting a couple bits of micro pushes here. Two on Kurt! Crack is just standing behind him, gets the 2k. Crack is actually on a 3k correction. And then Small Quad takes him down. Looks like Acid has control of the jelly room, but is not on down there on Kurt. Warrior Zaya gets a shotgun cart because down to Assassin King. Assassin King 1 HP dies to Kraka. And the rockets are back up. Kraka's gotta be careful he doesn't stand in front of the Rocketeer. Small Quad pushing up to that corner. Takes down Lobster. Nice pick there on the rockets. Cart is down right now. We're getting a decent amount of stoppage in this Veldrum area. Especially as they start to gain that spawn advantage with Red Side. They can hold them in Jelly Room. It's a very high probability they could take this first map. But once Cart reaches around that 84, 85% mark, anywhere past 80, honestly, um, it's a lot harder. Because that's where those group ups and uh, killing powerful players really become reliant. Small Quad flanking, coming back from the catwalk, it looks like. Trying to get Lobster down again. Lobster, great job at staying alive and escaping. Kraka and Aspie both around, trying to get a couple more picks. Aspie killed himself on the front of cart. Unfortunate self-destruction. Meanwhile, rockets are back up. I also see a shock in the area. Great use of heavies by Rook here. And as you can see on that clock, there are three minutes remaining. It's honestly anybody's game at this point in time before they switch sides. 
Lobster on another 5k. Keeps going, but Hikarama's still trying to push up. Goes down to Warrior Zaya Shocks. The two stack on cart. Oh, self destruction on the corner. Unfortunate shock placement. Cart is back up, double stacked. Gets a t pick tag on cart, but doesn't quite go down. Tev is half health though, but where are the Rook members? Kraka coming in to get Tev. Tev is still surviving. Zaya gets him down. Nice. Gets a shock back up. Gets another pick on cart. Nice. That's two. Zaya actually on a 3k, 4k right now. Let's go, Zaya! Taken down from behind in the shock bunker. Rockets, meanwhile, are up. Krakasaki has helped protect that catwalk flank. Ooh, small quad getting some more picks before going down to the rockets. Lobster doing an excellent job staying alive here. Cart has reached that 85% mark with a minute 50 on the clock. So my prediction is probably will reach around 95. If not, they almost have enough time. They could actually make it to 100 if they got enough clears. But I don't quite see that happening because I'm not seeing a lot of group ups from Acid here. But I may have spoken too soon, because it looks like on the mini-map, there's a couple of them waiting while only Assassin King's applying some pressure. They've got control of Jelly Room right now, and they're starting to push up into the space. Kurt's getting a couple more micro-pushes, even though Rockets are still up. One minute on the clock, they're already approaching that 90%. They've got one minute to make my prediction come true. Lobsters, rockets are not gonna. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say they're not gonna go down for a while, but uh, I spoke too soon. Meanwhile, Zaya trying to get those shocks back up on cart. Meanwhile, there's one coming in the flank. She spots him. Gets one pick from behind. Nice picks by Zaya. Great job holding that catwalk, protecting her team from behind. One coming in that shock bunker, it looks like Lobster pre-firing it with rockets. Trying to save her teammate, does die. Benji takes down the rockets, cart is up, 90% rising, 20 seconds on the clock. And that is 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 7 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, no overtime! Held at just about 92% by acid, just below that 95%. Just now seeing the comments, Lexi in the chat. Hi, Lexi. Jake cheering for the Pookies. And. As requested, I can try to adjust, uh, is the game audio too loud for you guys? And let me switch real quick to some red side POV. Hopefully that's a little better. Is the game noise that bad, guys? I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my laptop. <laughs> Very choppy, I'm sad. Okay. I may just turn down the master then. Meanwhile, Kurt is making some moves and headway on this half of the map. Trying to get some clears. There are a couple heavies in the area, but I am seeing some good double stackage. With five minutes on the clock, already approaching that 15% mark, entering water room. Nice crack at getting another pick on cart. Ooh, small quad trying to sneak into the health and comes behind. Does have a shock up. Misses the kill on Zaya. Nice pick there. 
Trying to sideline at the corner. Ooh, beamed by Benji. Kurt, meanwhile, still getting stackish. Getting across the water room. 4 minute 30 does go down, but Aspie hops on Kurt. Oh, unfortunate. Takes a quick swim in the pool. I mean, it is abyss, guys. It's better. <laughs> it was a wee bit crunchy. <laughs> okay, sorry, I wasn't monitoring the chat. I just pulled it up on my phone to check. Meanwhile, Kurt getting around the corner, four minutes on the clock. Uh, I think they're actually a little bit ahead of pace from where Acid was, as they did get a little more stoppage around that water room. Great dodging of the rockets here. And pressure forward. Rook making excellent pace here. There is a rocket in that back flank, but it looks like they went to take him out. Small quad grabbing a sniper! <laughs> uh, goes down to Kraka. A lot of trades here. Cart's already back up again, though. Warrior going for the health. Takes down Tev. And pushes up. Great disruption, though. The rocket pickup's about to show back up. SMG and shield by Higurama. Getting another pick. Starting to seal the shield and SMG combo a lot more recently. Ooh, headshot. Looks like Acid's got a decent little bit of disruption on this side. Ass beginning a nice pick in that window. Rook trying to get a bit of a group up. Rockets are still up. Goes down! Nice pick there on the Rockets. I think that was Acid, uh... Small quad with the rockets that got taken down. Lobster with rockets on blue side. Love to see it. Ooh, narrowly avoids that. But Assassin does get the pick. Looks like we've got another group up. Another rocketeer is dead for Acid. Will Rook get on the cart with 2 minutes 25 on the clock? They're still on base to make checkpoint here. Cart slowly making it around that last bend. Already on the straightaway. Looks like they may if they're able to keep this push going. Ooh, they did get stopped. There was a little bit of a clear. Small Quad does have a rocket back up in that flank. Looks like they'll need to have a great group up and push to get those rockets down again. Lobster with the rockets on blue side goes for the Rocketeer. It looks like rockets go down to crack a stacker. A cart is moving and that is checkpoint. 45 seconds ahead of pace from where Acid was at this point in the map. Hopefully that time gives them enough push to get them past that 91.9% mark. Meanwhile, as much as we do love the crack stack at cart cam, let's see where some of that red side action is at. Lobster taking rockets again on blue side. Love to see it. Ooh, disruption coming through. Taking down two of them. Coming to kill Cart. Ooh, the flip booking. That was wild. SMGs on Cart though. Very low damage. Meanwhile, the Cart's still making some moves. Getting double stackage in this hallway straight away while well, in red side. Got Tev right in the main wall. Gets a pick on Humble's Ghost for the 2k. Does go down to Kraka. Meanwhile, Cart not stopping at all with six and a half minutes coming around this bend. Making excellent pace here. Goes down to Tev. Looks like they got SMGs in serum. room. Tev pushing up to flank cart. Cart is down, but Aspen pushing up. Very low in health, waiting for a couple teammates. Rocket's still up though. Oh, looks like there was a drop on Acid side. There is a missing player. I just noticed this. Looks like... Who 
dropped. Acid, if you're watching this, you're missing a player. Missing a player. It is a 5v4. Oh, Assassin King is who's missing. Nice crouching using the shield on cart. Another pick on Benji there. Still more use of those SMGs. Back up and at it. Will Assassin King be able to get back into the lobby? Or did his headset die? Cause looks like we have a uh, player swap that needs to happen. You know, Lobster back up with the rockets. Kurt already at 82% with four minutes on the clock. Should be able to take this first map. It, with especially with the 5v4 advantage though. Ass is still trying to get some picks. Crack is stacking going down. The shield on cart. Small quad trying to get set up with the rockets again. Don't know if rockets is quite the move in the 5v4 though. With this power play, having one less player forward could make a huge difference. Is getting the picks on cart though. Excellent rocket picks. Taking down three already from right back there. They need to put a body on that cart though if they really want to get some stoppage, but I don't know if they have the manpower to be able to afford that. Meanwhile, they are holding them at 91%. They just need 0.4% to do take this first map. Three, and that is the first map going to Rook. Aspie pushing up for some disruption. Benji getting a pick, trying to push out, but very low. 95% with three minutes on the clock. Humble's getting a couple more picks from Cart for going down to Tev. And Cart is back up. Zaya on Cart with the shocks, 99.53%. Lobster Master rocketing Cart, 99.79. This could be the last touch on Cart. Rook needs if they can clear. Acid doing a great job putting a body on Cart, getting that stoppage as much as possible in the last bit. And that is 100% for Rook at 2 minute 14 remaining. Okay. And give me just a second, let me get these scores pulled up for you guys. That should do the trick for you. Uh, real fast, let me read those off for you guys. It is top kills overall. Does go to Lobster Master, 90 and 44. Right behind those small quads, 62, 63, Humble, 61, 49. Aspie, or sorry, actually, Hugo Ruma, 53, 50. Aspie, 46, 42. Crack a stack of 40, 34. And I can read the rest due to the one and the only thankful. Bash, that does load it in. Great job to both teams, though. It is an unfortunate power play. Hopefully, uh, Acid can get that fifth player in, or else the second map would be a forfeit. And let's see. If Asa can get a fifth player back in the lobby for this. 
as the next map is Quarry. The only mutator required is the team chat only. Quarry is one of the only domination maps that there is a difference between which color you start on as it is not perfectly symmetrical. The team that starts on red side actually does have a one more dash advantage to get to the dash at B, which can often have an effect on who can push the opponent's base faster. Now we're just waiting to see if Acid can get Assassin King or another Acid player back in the mix. Oh, looks like we got Acid Gog in. Okay, cool. So we do have a fifth for that second map. Shouldn't be too long. And then these guys should hopefully be ready to get started. If they are going to uh, briefly discuss. And I think there's a couple substitutions for some players. We'll see what else changes in the lineup. Meanwhile, stay tuned. We will be back to you shortly after a brief intermission. Thanks for tuning in. This is your host, Jaded. Feel free to uh, comment in the chat. I will be putting up a new poll and like the stream.
Match start. Three, two, one, go. Red takes A. Blue takes B. Looks like for Quarry, we did have a substitution on Riverside. Looks like we got Lunar in for. I think. Krakastaka. Um, That's who subbed. And we did have Gog sub in for Acid. Benji pushing through the tunnel, it looks like, trying to sneak into their base. Rook, meanwhile, trying to keep control of B, doing a pretty good job here. Aspie popping off right now, already top kills. Lot of trades back and forth here. I'm curious what your guys' predictions are. Do you think this is going to be a long quarry, or do you think one team's gonna start scoring and it's just gonna take off? Oh, right as I say that, Acid does score a point. We could be going to a control point today. If Acid can score two more points. Match starts in three, two, one, go. Red takes A. First elimination. Red takes C. Lot of trades and kill streaks right now. Gog on a 3k as well. Looks like Asa getting control of B. Nice group up here on B. Gets another pick on Aspie. Taken out by Lobster, but trades with Small Quad. Count them for acid. Waiting to see if we else get some counters. Blue team scores counter. Blue 
if my thing is lagging out a little bit, I do apologize. My laptop's getting a wee bit toasty. Almost pushing another base, gets a countdown, only three players up. Do counter at the button, he goes down to small card. Small card surviving at like 5 HP. Lobster also pushing another base, gets another pick. That's another, but they just need their home base. Oh, Dev gets the counter. to push in does not get the dash small code waiting gets a pick on lobster but taken out by lunar lunar trying to push in to be here Rama just holding down the fort at B right now. Trades with Lobster Master. Count on Farouk immediately countered on B though. Red takes A. Lobster running into the 1v2s on B as Acid keeps B locked down. Count on for Acid. Only <laughs> Lunar alive. Lunar did get the counter though. Oh no. Playing cat and mouse. Lunar going for the pick, but Tev does get the first shot. Ooh, goes to chase Humbles. Humbles goes down. Another countdown, three players alive. Right now, Acid, pun intended, seems to be dominating the rocks right now. Countdown for Rook countered. Hey, Rama going for the SMGs and tunnel. Ready to push Red into their base. Acid countered. getting a countdown. Three players up. Gets one. Goes for the button. Taps it again. Oh, Second team counters. Red 
bunch of people. Dermal Aspie be getting a nice pick. Little bit lagging on the internet. Price, ooh, gets the pick on Tev, defends his teammate. We're trying to get a clear on B here. Gets another nice, great group up push on B by Rook. Ready to push into their base, does not get the dash though. Benji getting a pick from behind, starts pushing immediately tunnel to the opposing team's base. Does not get the dash, does get the button though. Rook does have B at the moment right now though. Warrior getting a nice pick on the rail. Red takes and another on Gog. Nice headshot. Let's go. Oh, steals the SMG. Benji waiting to push a tunnel for the dash. Countdown for Rook. Benji trying to push into their base. Goes down to Zaya. Zaya on Beast Defense. Only tap alive. One. Wiped! Team that is a team wipe by Rook. Rook down. gets a point on Quarry. It is 1-1. One, one. Match starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's go, Zaya. Red takes A. Blue takes C. Red takes me. Blue takes me. Does get Benji very low on health. Benji gets taken down. Gog's in their base, gets a countdown right off the bat. Gog getting another pick in their base before going down to Aspie. Aspie went for the button. Oh, goes down to Benji, already rushing through tunnel again. Gets another on Lunar. Igarama ready to push their button. Four players up, getting an immediate counter by Humbles. A lot of Rook players in their base really needing to push out. Three players up. Nice job, Humble. Clearing that tunnel and getting that dash, trying to prevent them from getting any more pressure in their base. Humble waiting in the corner. Only three of his teammates up. Right, when they have each other's base and it is countered, Humble goes down a small quad, ready to push. What's he saying? Dang, this is a long game. Yeah, it is Corey. Red takes C. Red takes C. Blue takes C. Small quad with the double shotguns. Does grab their button, but Rook has the opponent's base as well right now. Lunar waiting to grab B. Oh, the snap churn makes me so disconcerting. Oh, taking down from behind by small quad. Lobster getting a nice pick on small quad, locking down B again. Gets another count on, but it is countered by Benji. Have thrown some dance moves. Zaya getting a pick. Let's Red take C.
Nice job, Zaya. Blue takes C. Red takes C. Red team. Counter. It's a nice counter. Gets another pick. Nice. Blue takes C. Blue takes C. Great button Red objective focus. C. Small quad getting another pick. Still just fighting over B where the prim where's the primary source of most fights? It's the B button which is in the middle between both their bases. Whoever has control of B typically is the one that wins the points. Small quad back up, but the double shot he's in a corner. With only eight, well, nine minutes remaining on the clock. Small quad getting the shotgun pig. Looks like Acid's getting ready to push out. Small quad switching corners with the double shotgun. Very camping technique, but if you look on the minimap, they're still trying to apply pressure to the opponent's base. Red C. Rook only needing B right now, but still getting logged down by small quads shotguns. Small quads still on a kill streak. That makes five. He's pushing into their base. Gets the dash, Red takes but Rook does have B right now because he left. Humble's getting their button back. Red takes nice pick on Benji there. Pigorama very low goes down to Zaya. Gog trying to push into B here, or outside B. Goes down to Zaya. Higurama coming in through the subway to the back of their base. Blue takes B. Blue takes C. Trades. Aspie gets the pick. Runs right into Benji. Benji surviving at 1 HP. Countdown for blue team. Benji gets a pick. Oh, is actually taken down by Lunar. It all's happening so fast. I can't keep up. Six more minutes of this. We might actually get a sudden death. Hey, Garama going a little crazy there with the bullets and the corpse. Lobster getting another pick on B. There's one more nice pick by Lobster. Rook is starting to push. Don't go for the pick. No. There's a time and a place to chase kills. Firstly, I don't recommend it on a quarry. Red team counter. Red team. Count on for Rook. Only two players up. Nice counter by Lobster. Another countdown. Four players still up. Has to be getting the pick. Okay. Looks like it's a misinterpreted sentiment here. Countdown for Rook and countered. This is getting very intense. Tensions are clearly very high. Has to be getting a pick on Tev. Goes down to small quad. Small quad at Blue one HP. Goes down to lobster. Stops are ready to push their base. Grabs their dash. They just need their opponent's base. Nice pick by lobster. Blue 
Ops are going down on their base. Humble's there as well, going down to Gog. Gog lagging out, unless that's actually my stream. Oh. Uh, my laptop might be overheating. Blue team scores. Blue team scores. Counter. Red takes B. Stream still says it's stable. Questionable. Blue takes B. Uh. Blue team scores. Counter. Hyperdash is severely struggling. I think the quarry went on too long for my laptop to be able to handle. I do apologize for the technical difficulty. <laughs> oh, wait, we're back. It's, uh... Got a little... Stressed. Red takes C. Red takes C. Red countered. Blue takes C. Still 1-1. One, one, three minutes on the C. clock. Is Egg doing a little dancey dance? Looking at Blue kills across the board, C. though, they are pretty similar. They are getting a nice pick. Aspie's still shooting a couple too many extra bullets into that body. Zaya in the opponent's face goes for a pick, but it does get countered by Benji. Honestly, either team could score a point at any point in time just by getting a group up into the opponent's face. It's anyone's game. Acid does need to win this, as Rook did take that first map, though, if they are to go to a control point. Blue takes B. Red takes C. I swear I'm not biased, but I do have a scrim in 27 minutes, so if this does go to a control point... Eh? Be cutting it a little bit. Red takes C. Humble's getting another pick. Humble's top kills right now overall for the map at 69 though. Doing an excellent job. Higurama not far behind at 61 and Benji right at 58. Red team Red team Only four players up. Getting another button for us. Looks like so far Rook's doing a pretty good job getting those counters. Just needs to push out of their base. Down to the last minute 15. It's anyone's game. Take C. Rook only having B right Counter. now. Countered Blue in their base. C. Gets B back. Lunar, meanwhile, sneaking into the opponent's base. Does get spotted by Gog. Beams! Another Counter. countdown for Rook. Countered by Gog. Forty-five seconds till this may be a sudden death! And if it is, I really, really, really hope Lobster grabs some rockets. Ooh, group up by Rook here, pushing into the terminal, but gets cleared. Just needing B. Five players still up, though. Lobster getting a nice counter in B. Looks like Rook might be playing for time instead of points here. They may be confident in the sudden death practice. They do have the opponent's base, and they just Blue lost B, but they take it back. Blue team counter. Blue team counter. And that is time! We are going to a sudden death!
Let's go! Match starts in three, two, one. Sudden death. Oh my gosh. Hey, rocket POV, I called it. Okay. I'm only a little excited. Oh, and a shield. Red team scores. Three. Blue team scores. They're gonna go for the rockets. 3v2, 3v2. 2v2. It's only 1v1. No. Dev gets the pick. That is a win for Acid. Crazy sudden death. And we are going to a control point, guys. And that is a full length glory match. Let's get those scores pulled up for you guys. Top kills overall, Humble 74 51. Right behind, though, is Higurama 66 57. Benji 62 55. Lobster Master 59 59. Small Quad. Or sorry, Gog 5442, Small Quad 5249, uh, Tev 5350, Warrior Zaya 3662, and Lunar 3455. And that does mean we are going to a stadium for the third map of today. Uh. And let's see. Just control point with team chat only mutes hit are required. That was a insane <laughs> sudden death. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was the first one I got to cast this season. And it's in the last cycle. Okay. Well, um, looks like we're just waiting to see if the teams are ready for a control point, if there will be any other substitutions or player swaps. Meanwhile, guys, I might be late to my scrim. Rexac, I saw you in the chat. Just FYI, you guys can start without me. Depending on how long the control point goes. Looks like we're just waiting for that fifth player to get in from Rook. And we should hopefully be get going soon.
New poll in the chat. It is anyone's game. We've got the Krakus stack in. We do have five for both teams. And we are ready to get this show on the road. Whee. Let's see a control point. Acid versus Rook. Match starts in three, two, one, go. Red team has captured the control point. Blue team has captured the control point. Red team has captured the control point. like red taking an early lead on this control point. Lobster with the SMGs up. They are fighting for the right. Who's can gonna stay? Ass definitely needs to take a W if they want to stay in Sprinter for playoffs. If them winning this and their next game might be enough to keep them. Just enough seed ranking. As placement for playoffs is not based off of MMR, it is solely based off of seed ranking. So, if the outcomes in the matches didn't matter earlier in the season, they certainly do now. And having those stakes high, see some excellent area control from the center from Acid right now. But Rook just does not seem to be getting the control in center that they need. Already getting almost a 60 second lead by Acid. Like Rook slowly making a comeback here. Trying to close that gap. This is why it's important to practice control point regularly. Acid having about a 50 second lead here. Rook's got some work to do, but Crack is Sacker on a 4k right now just about team wiped him. Lobs are set up with the SMGs, doing great work on the side, getting another pick as well. Looks like Rook slowly finding their rhythm here, getting some more area control so you can see on that minimap. Also, I'm realizing how small the little dots are on the minimap. I did not realize how tiny they were. There you go, guys. Might be a little easier to see. As much as I love the SMG POV of the center, do want to see a little more action. Never mind, we're right back to SMGs. I spoke too soon. Meanwhile, red getting set back up in the center. Rook really needing to mix some stuff up, catch up on the clock. Still about a 50 second difference that 
opening really seemed to hurt the team, so they're trying to catch up on the clock. Rook playing a lot on the outsides of the map. Doing some spawn disruption here by Alt Humbles, though. Ooh, goes down to Tev, watching that rail. Tev getting a couple more picks, already on a 3k. Goes down, Lobster on a 5k, though. Rama doing some disruption as well from their spawn side. Rook really needs to close this gap in the next 20-30 seconds for red, as the last 200 seconds can be very brutal. Here's the dash trail. Goes to get the kill, but it's taken down. Has to be getting another pick. But Rook is playing way too far back, just not having control of the center. Still about a 60 second difference. As it does have a lineup with more experienced players, and that may be what's given them an edge in this case. Gog, meanwhile, top scoring, and Benji not far behind. Also, Zaya top scoring for Rook, getting the most counters. Lobster keep trying to dash in the center even with SMGs. Looking at about a 80 second lead here for Acid. Rook's gotta make a major comeback here. Acid may be taking this control point. React with the poll in the chat if you haven't already. Small quad going to take out the annoying SMGs. And Acid seems to have control of the center again. Humble's getting a nice pick in the center as well. And Benji certain Gog starting to play a lot close to the button. Seeing a lot more movement in the center though from Rook. But I don't know if this was early enough in the match to win the time that they've lost. Starting to play at button now. Getting a lot of good picks here. Rook starting to get some clears. Still an 80 second difference, Acid's got the button. Could be the last 15, 25 seconds. Rook's trying to make the comeback here. Kraken getting really nice picks there. 12 seconds remaining for Acid. Rook trying to lower the gap. But they were just cleared from the center. Only six seconds, five seconds, four, three, two. Has to be playing crazy at the button. Last 99 seconds. Still holding at the 99. Still holding. And that is the game. 300 to 235. And that is the control point acid does when the quarry so on the sudden death and the control point and top kills overall does go to humbles again two maps in a row 39 and 31.
right behind those small quad 36 27 but top score for the entire map does go to warrior zaya 11,279. great job by both teams but that is a wrap for today's match acid does take that and thank you for joining while well, this was jaded aka little tipsy in the booth I do have to hop out as I have a scrim to get to. There's not a double CP as this was all Washington for today. Congratulations, Acid, on the win. Great efforts by both teams, though. The 25-minute quarry attests. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out the recipe cast for today. And if you are interested in becoming a caster, please... Uh, you know, let Dashley know. We're always on the lookout for more casters to help out with this. And as that is the final map for the day, I'm gonna say peace out. You guys have a great rest of your day and enjoy the Sunday. GG's!